Hey guys, it's Maya. I'm back today with another video on Rome Research. Today, part two in my short series on themes. I'm going to teach you how you can add different codes to your Rome and switch in between them. Hope you enjoy. First thing you have to do is create a page called Rome slash CSS. This will allow you to add the code to your Rome and then switch in between those codes and themes without using the styles extension. So first of all, let's create that page, two square brackets, Rome slash CSS. It's very important that it's called that. If not, this whole thing won't work. So now you're going to enter the page and here you're going to write themes. And then underneath, you're going to leave an empty space because this is where the title of this page of this theme is going to go. So space, then enter tab. And here you're going to insert a code block. So slash code block, then press enter and then click anywhere. And you can see that there's this blank coding space that appeared. Now from here, you have to switch it from closure to CSS there. And then we're going to go to this link. This is um, a link that this is Maggie Appleton's GitHub. Here she posted um, with the first theme, which was the one that I used last time, which was Mapleton's. And this time she added two more. So she added the Zenith Decker, which is basically a mashup, like it says here, of two themes. And then she also added the Night Owlish. But I think this one was from someone else's uh, theme. So. This is the one, Mapleton is the one that I used last time. And now we're going to try to add all of these into our Rome and then be able to switch in between the themes of your Rome. So let's start by doing that. We're going to click on Zenith Decker. Then we're going to copy this code. I'm going to go on raw. And then here you can just control A and then command C and then go back to your Rome CSS page and then paste it in here. Now that I have my code, I'm just going to name it. I know a little trick about this one, so I'm going to show you guys after I name it. I'm going to give you a little hint. So, Okay, now I'm going to show you the little trick. So I'm going to go back to Daily Notes, and let's see, I'm going to open this page. Actually, yeah, this page by doing Shift D Christophe, like this. And you can see that I have um, these, this page over here that appears right next to it. And here, of course, I can open a couple more and they're, they're all going to appear one next to each other. So it's very useful if you want to work on a couple of pages. And now I can, when I minimize it, this appears vertically. So that's why I call it the vertical, cool vertical sidebar theme. Also, you can see that um, the page references are in orange and I can take out the brackets by doing Control C, Control B, and now the brackets are gone. I'm gonna go back to the Rome CSS page. And now I'm gonna show you how you can add a second version to your code, which means to add a second theme. So you're gonna right click on the bullet of the, where the title is and go on add version. Then you're gonna do the same thing again. So space where the title is gonna be enter tab code block like this and then switch it to css like that now we're going to go back to um to the link and i'm going to go on the mapleton's theme which is the one that i used on my previous video now i'm going to put this link in the description box below if i haven't already said it Okay, we're going to go to um, pick up the code. So we're going to go on raw, then command A, command C, then we're going to go back here and paste it. Okay, now that I have my code, I'm just going to name this one as well. So I'm just going to name this one Maggie's theme, pretty simple. Maggie's theme, there we go. And I just want to add that these themes, the first one and the last one that I'm going to show you next, these, um, Maggie added these later. At the beginning, she only had the Mapleton's theme, but now she added these two. So that's probably why you guys couldn't see them earlier. So now I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to show you a couple of things about this theme. So here, um, the page references are in orange, like the other one. But if I open it like this, if I go, for example, on Le Christophe, it opens like a usual sidebar. And when I minimize them, they don't go vertically. 
I'm going to go back now to the Rome CSS page and I'm going to add a third version, which is going to be the last code. So right click, add version, space, which is where the title is going to be, enter, tab, code block, and then switch it to CSS. Like this. And now we're going to go back and grab the third code. Okay, so here is going to be the Night Owlish. I think this one was created by one of her friends and not by herself. So Night Owlish. Then we're going to go on Raw. And then we are going to select everything, copy it. Oh, I want to add something before we paste it. Over here it says that you need the fonts Leto and Dank Mono. Um, but you have to pay for Dank Mono and I don't want to pay for a font. So I'm going to follow their advice and I'm going to use Open Sans inst instead of Dank Mono. But of course, if you want to purchase Dank Mono, you can just use it. You should have the Lido and Dank and uh, Open Sans font. You've watched my previous video. I'm going to go back now and I'm going to paste it. Okay, now I have the code and you can see that this font doesn't really match. I'm just going to name it real fast. Something pretty simple, dark mode, like that. And you can see that this font doesn't really match with this whole with the whole aesthetic of this theme. So here I'm just going to replace it like they said. I'm going to replace Dank Mono with Open Sans. So here and Open Sans. There. And now I'm just going to minimize it. And there. You can see that it popped to the Open Sans font. Here I'm just going to show you a little bit more. You can see that this completely matches with the aesthetic of the theme. Now I'm going to show you the last trick, which is the most fascinating thing, is that you can switch in between the codes. So if I go on the little three, you can see that I have the three numbers, of course. And if I go on the number one, it's the Zenith Decker, which is the cool vertical sidebar theme, the first one. Then the second one, it's Maggie's theme, the one that I used in my previous video, Mappleton's also. And the third one is the Night Owlish, the dark mode. Now, um, you can also add another code by just clicking on the little plus, then naming it. I'm just going to give an example like this. Then press enter, tab, and code block. Let's see, code block, that, and then switch to CSS. And here, this is where you're going to add your third, uh, fourth code. Now, to delete one, you click on the little bullet, and you're going to delete everything like this. Then you're going to go back and you're going to delete the, the title like this. And now you're left with the three codes. Okay, so that was it for my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. See you soon.